Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you've been following me since the beginning, you know I've had this YouTube page since 2021. Obviously dropped off posting because just life and just a few things going on. I have this huge camera which I've now sold and upgraded to what I'm using now. This is way more compact and I know I'll be less self-conscious filming in public because that was a huge deterrent for me but we're pushing past that because one of my goals for 2024 is to vlog more because I get asked all the time what does my week look like what is it exactly that you do and I do a lot of different things so I thought it would be great to just show you guys more just be more relaxed in sharing my life and if you follow along here on YouTube you'll get all you get all the behind the scenes stuff that you won't find on Instagram and I thought I would kick off my YouTube revival by just showing you what a week in my life can look like. I want to show you everything from my clinical work, where I work, my non-clinical work, and how I weave that into my everyday. Also got an exciting evening event, which I will take you all along to. Next week, I have the ADX, so the Australian Dental Expo. So I'm obviously going to take you guys on that and you'll be able to see the behind the scenes, what I do when I get up there, what the Curaprox team gets up to. I hope you enjoy and if you have any recommendations or you want to see certain things message me on Instagram at Emma Talks Teeth and I will do my very best to create some valuable content for you all. So this is our belated celebration for Dental Assistant Appreciation Week. How cute. Good, every day. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going to ask the English girls, what's the correct amount of milk to put in your English breakfast? Just a dash. Just a dash. <laughs> Happy Thursday. This is the third time I've recorded this. I'm still really self-conscious about filming in public so I've had to restart this multiple times now but here we are. Hopefully I can complete this without stopping. I'm on the walk to work and usually by now I would be sitting in my cafe drinking my matcha latte but I forgot my ergo loops this morning and I realized halfway to Pilates and I couldn't turn around because if you're late, they shut the door on you. So I had to run home after my class and pick up my loops. And why? Because I cannot work without my loops. When I tell you I dread a day when I'm not working with my loops, I absolutely hate it. I had to run home and get those. And I'm on the way to work contemplating whether to get a coffee and I don't feel like I need one right now, so maybe I'll just walk into work and get started on um, work for today before seeing patients. So it's going to be a big day, got sent my day yesterday, got lots of perio, lots of new patients, so it's going to be a big one. Good morning. Hey. This is Loz, senior DA. She's a legend. Let's have a good day, shall we? So I obviously changed my mind on me getting a coffee and I ended up getting a hot cross bun. Americans probably won't know what Whitaker's chocolate is, but every Australian knows their chocolate is the best. Better than Cadbury's. Yes, I said it. And they've got them in their hot cross buns. So I had to get one, of course. Today is Thursday. Today is usually my content slash seeing patients day. It's a very flexible day. Sometimes it'll end up being more content than patients. Sometimes it's more patients than content. So I will just take you along and show you what the day looks like. Well, let's get to work. This is Paris and Luz in room two today. And I'm next door. In room three with Jazz, money Jazz. This is the room for today. So we've got a pretty busy day, don't we, Jazz? Jazz is logging in, but we obviously can't show you the books. But from what I remember yesterday, we have 
create one new patient, a gap. So I'll be using that to create content. Another new patient, and then I think it's lunch. Yeah. And then we have a whole afternoon of perio. So this is why I ended up getting my coffee because I remembered how big of an afternoon I had. So it's basically eight o'clock, so our first patient is here. So we'll see you in a little bit. Just in between patients, I'm currently upstairs in D Smile HQ and just getting a few things done before my next patient. And this is what I'll usually do in between. I will usually take my laptop to work with me and get as much as I can done in between. And if I can't get things done, I usually come in on a Friday. So Fridays are typically my non-clinical day. I try to get as much filming I can done on the Thursday and then spend Friday editing and putting all the content together. So let me show you what that might look like. So what I usually do is prep what I'm going to film either the week of or night before, just jot down any ideas. And I usually create seven to eight videos a week. So I'll pop down my entire script or exactly what I'm going to do in a Google document and then film it. And the lovely Naomi has asked for my coffee orders. So I'm going to be super caffeinated today. Second caffeinated drink for the day. I'm going to be bouncing off the walls, but I can't say no to... Oh, so there you go. <gasps> Hello. <laughs> Welcome to my vlog. Yeah. <laughs> that, it flips so... Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, guys. Yeah, hey, guys. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Talking about teeth. I was pretending to be you. <laughs> we have three more patients, got the Jonas Brothers on for good vibes. And I've got a whole afternoon of perio. These are our perio kits. We have Hugh Freddy instruments here. So this is the full kit. And I haven't seen this patient before, so I'm hoping that um, it's going to be a straightforward appointment. Three more patients and then got to do some filming with the boss because we've got a few things to create for the D Smile page. And I've got to run home, put my face on, get to my hair appointment and then I've got the event tonight. So it's crossing our fingers we have a good afternoon. <laughs> this is what happens when patients cancel or are running late. Huddle in surgery in room three. She's running late though. I've got an appointment to get to. I hope she comes soon. <laughs> to-do list today. Last night was so fun with, at the Kira Stas event. Met some really cool people, got some really cool hair products and it was really interesting to learn about my scalp which needs some work on so that's probably going to be another thing to add to the to-do list this year. But I've got a lot going on today. This is the last Friday before I head off to Sydney for the ADX next week. So I've got my Manny Petty in the afternoon. I've got a podcast I'm recording at 12, but I'm actually a guest and not um, interviewing this time, which is exciting. I like it when the tables are turned. It's really fun. Um, but I've got a few things to tick off my to-do list before then. Just going to work out at the gym and instead of rambling, I'm going to get to this to-do list. So this is my usual working from home setup. MacBook, have always had a MacBook, absolutely love them, works so well with the iPhone. This is my ergonomic laptop stand. I absolutely love it, it really helps my neck. Um, and my diary, my influencer light. <laughs> this is really good for recording podcasts when I need a little bit of extra light. So it is 10 o'clock. And I've got two hours before this podcast, so I better get started. I'm definitely not going to get this done by 12 p.m. It's past 10 and I haven't even done the first one. Wish me luck.
So I've just come home from my Manny Petty and I am filming the last of the D Smile content that I need to create and then I will edit it tonight and hopefully get it finished before I have to go to sleep because tomorrow I am out and about. I'm going to be visiting family and then Sunday I'll probably look to start packing for the ADX because I leave midweek and I'm just not a last minute packer. I need to be prepped in advance. So here's hoping I can finish editing this content tonight. Good evening. It is 10 to 10 and I am still working on editing. Really ready for bed. This is what I'll usually do on an evening is edit because I do work full time as I let you know and this is basically a time of the day where I can get other stuff done so I'm just uploading the final videos for the DSmart content and then I will be done for the day finally <laughs> just waiting on the final videos to upload so this is a common evening a common Friday night for me where I will be working till quite late not every week um, but this work has to be done at some point and quite often it's usually my evenings all the work that I'm so grateful for is so fun and I'm so blessed to have it it does consume a lot of my life but now that this is finally uploading, I will be able to shut my laptop and wind down for bed and enjoy the weekend. Good morning, and oh, it's the end of the week. I spent yesterday just hanging out with family and friends and ended up doing a little bit of work in the evening. But it is a Sunday morning, I've done groceries and I'm catching up with a friend for lunch. So I am starting to pack now before I need to leave the house. Don't need to take too much, I've got one carry on. I decided to go for check in luggage this time because I'm just one of those people that like getting off the plane, getting to where I need to go. I don't like waiting for baggage unless I absolutely have to because I'm only going for three nights. So I figured let's cram it in to a carry on, but I don't know if I'm going to regret this. <laughs> so we'll see how we go. So I do have a bit of a dilemma. I probably should have added checked in baggage to my flight. Um, yeah, the tricky thing with these trade shows is it's you're not just working through the day it's social in the evening as well so i've got whoops you don't want to say that I've got extra sandals i've got a handbag those are my travel clothes so they won't go in there and that should be okay um so for curaprox the outfit is beige pants so i've got two pairs over three days i absolutely love these Uniqlo pants. If you ever want pants, Uniqlo is my number one. And then I've got one set of activewear because I like going to the gym in the morning, getting my steps up because you don't get any exercise through the day. And then I've got my Jonas Brothers shirt <laughs> as my pajamas. Um, yeah, so this is going to be tough. I'm going to have to really squeeze everything in and then hope that I'm not over that seven kilos. Fun! I think I'm doing all right. I'm going to be very, very close to this seven kilo mark, which I'm slightly anxious about, but we're just going to cross our fingers. So all I've got to pack now is my long shop and I will definitely take my headphones. I cannot survive plane rides long or short without these it is so incredibly loud on the planes without these i realize now so they are going here they are fully charged and then my laptop will go in here and then my camera will go in here as well so those are the main things that i'm going to be carrying in my handbag 
And then it's just going to be my skincare that goes in the luggage. So I'm just hoping that I will be under the seven kilos because I hate paying for extra baggage. That's just like wasted money in my eyes. So if I get caught, it's my fault. I should have gone and checked in luggage, but we'll see how we go. And yeah, I'm basically finished, I'm basically finished packing. And right on time. And the final addition to my packing today before I do all the last minute stuff on Wednesday night is my Curaprox travel kit. Now you guys know I am absolutely obsessed with this. I take it everywhere with me on long weekends, especially when I'm traveling on my own. <laughs> and there's a fight between the electric toothbrush. So this here is my travel kit and it comes with a toothbrush, a mini Curaprox BU whitening toothpaste and then an interdental brush and even space for a spare one and it just clips up like this we'll be selling these at the trade show they always fly out like hot cakes but if you're not at the trade show and you want to purchase them you can go to the cure Proxa website and i've got a discount code for you so you can use emma talks teeth for a cheeky little discount <laughs> I've just gotten home from ramen and I was just relaxing on the couch, minding my own business. And then the doorbell went off and the guy in the video was holding a box. It was someone from DHL and I was thinking I hadn't ordered anything. And when I got downstairs, it was a surprise delivery from me. So let's unbox it together. Apologies guys, my bad. I actually can't post about these figs colors because they've not been released yet lucky i checked otherwise i may have gotten in trouble for sharing information that i shouldn't have so you might have to watch a future vlog to see the product <laughs> the end of this vlog you're a real one and I love you a lot I hope that this vlog gave you a nice insight into a week of my life it was a little bit more fun than typical weeks obviously with the event and packing for the ADX it's not always like this however next week is another fun week I am heading to the Australian Dental Expo so I'm going to take you guys along on the journey from start to finish so you can see what that part of my life is about but Thank you for watching don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss any future videos thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time